That's good eye good. right there. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Max Free, and he'll work on holding this lead. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. The pitch. Done. Swings, drives one. Deep right field. Makes the catch up against the wall. The batter, the designated hitter, Joey Votto. Two outs, base is empty. And now Joey Votto, single to right in his first trip. And the pitch. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Now all even up. High fly ball out into left center field. And Votto is retired. And that ends the inning. Reds claw back with this homer. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Back at Truist Park, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Joe Torrey next up for the Braves. The 2 on. And foul ball. Acuna leads off second with nobody out. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Dunn makes the grab. One away. Now batting center fielder David. So now to the plate for Atlanta, David Justice. His first at bat was a strikeout. And it is yeah, two and a one. one strike. Runner leads away at second. That's ball three. Let's go three. Three balls, one strike. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Drury makes the play. And there's two away. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. And the batter now, Ozzie Albies. First time up, he grounded to third.
What to now? That's a ball. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off. Man at second. This one in the air center field. Davis under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. One left for Atlanta, but they still lead it two to one. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now the third baseman, Brandon Drury. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Here's a 2-1. And there's a foul ball. Out there to center. Justice under this one. And there's one down. Now batting. Right fielder. Tyler Naquin. Tyler Naquin digs in now. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Left hand batter waits. So now 1 and 2. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two away down. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. And a pitch. Knocks it down. The flip to the pitcher covering. Larkin gone on the play. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now, here is Matt Olson. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Now batting, the third baseman, Chipper Joe. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Now here is Chipper Jones. A switch hitter batting right. Whoa, Next offering is downstairs. Three one in for a strike, full count. And he deals. The punch out there. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Now it's the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Next offering misses, two and two.
kicks and deals. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Safely into second, he's got a double. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Man at second here with two away. Hank Aaron, the next to hit. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. And, of course, when it comes to Hank Garrett, he's one of the greatest sluggers of all time. 755 career homers, a record that stood for a long time. The next offering misses. Three and one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Done. Should have this one. And that will end the inning. Braves strand one as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. And welcome back. Start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Eric Davis. And the 2-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Late swing. Fouled off. The 2-2. Two -two. Stays alive. And here it comes. Got him looking. And now one away. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now, not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some adjustments to make. Now it's the second baseman, Joe Morgan. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Now the throw to first on the run. Barely got him for the out close play. Up next to Cincinnati, the first baseman, Tony Perez. Two outs, space is empty. And now Tony Perez. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. He caught it behind his back. Yeah. Nicely done for the out. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Braves two and the Reds one. Tony Santion gets the call from the pen. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Back at Truist Park, bottom of the six. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Eddie Matthews. That one fouled off. The 2-2. Two -two. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. His fourth home run of the season. And they add a run. It's 3-1.
good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Digging in, Ronald Acuna Jr., one for two. Next pitch is outside. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And the right-hander deals. That's in there. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. And the righty deals. Up the middle. Sneaks through. Base hit. The catcher, number nine. Now, Joe Torrey. He gets a shot right here against the righty, and he is elite against right-handed pitching. The contact, the average, and delivers the slug. Runner at first with no outs here. Steal, steal, steal. Acuna runs. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. One and two here. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Two two now. And a swing and a miss. And one out now. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike now zone, that. a hitter. If he's prepared for it can get to it but that one just had that little jump at the end which indicates there's a good spin rate on it and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitters internal clock would expect it to and that's why you see the swing and miss stepping in David Justice in the air to left center done raging back towards the wall two down batter number one second baseman here Ozzie. is Ozzie Albies up to Albie. two outs Ball. that misses the zone the count now two and two <laughs> Acuna off of first with two away. In the air, left side. Done. On the move towards the line. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And the inning is over. One more for Atlanta on the homer. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Back here in Atlanta, we go to the top of the seventh. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Johnny Bench. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Here's the left fielder, Adam Dunn.
The tying run at the plate. Right side, into the outfield, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Now it's going to be Joey Votto hitting the air right field. Hank under it. And there's one down. Two on, one out. Next for Cincinnati, Brandon Drury. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. The pitch. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. So now three and two. Got him! Two out. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning, and that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something. Pick up his teammate and his club. So first and second with two outs. In now for the Reds, Tyler Naquin, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Left-hand hitter waits. And it's fouled away. And now the lefty, swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. A couple of strikeouts with runners on, sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. Lucas Sims takes over on the mound. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Lucas Sims. Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Matt Olson. Swings through that. Two, two swing and a high fly ball pretty well struck right field and it's off the top of the wall throws to second but he's in there easily anytime you smoke a ball off the wall you kind of think about what it could have been but obviously you have to be happy with that result So the batting order turns over. Chipper Jones next up for the Braves. The count two and one. No, that's Just missed. No outs. Runner on second. Next offering is fouled back. And a 3-2. The other way. And that's just foul.
Kicks and fires. Swings here and blasts one left field. Way back there. Out of here! His fourth home run of the season. And they add on. It's 5-1. pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off and the batter will be the shortstop Dansby Swanson the one two hit on the ground to the right side and it goes just foul with the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now it's the power-speed combo. Hank Aaron. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. The pitch. That misses the zone, and it's 2-1. and one. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. And there's two down. Now batting. The designated hitter, Eddie Matthews. Next pitch is outside. Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals, and a swing and a miss, and that's that. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now 5-1. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Colin McHugh. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Colin McHugh. We go to the eighth, and here is Barry Larkin. His next home run will be the 200th in his career. It would be pretty cool to see it right here. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. The center fielder, number 44, Eric Davis. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Eric Davis. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Here comes a pitch. That one misses. Two and one. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Comes up empty. That's strike two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Fought off foul. The wide to kick the pitch. 
And that one fouled off. Two two down. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two gone now. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. The but that time, a little Second anxious. Base. Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan will hit next. And a pitch. Here's a high chopper. Olsen oh. takes it to the bag. That ends the frame. And one, two, three go the Reds. They're down here five to one. Hunter Strickland on a pitch here. This is his third time out this year. Hunter Strickland. Bottom of the eighth, stepping in the long ball threat, Ronald Acuna Jr. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That one catches the corner for a strike. Swings and misses, and one gone. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout catcher, pitch over nine. the years. And what's so tough no. as a hitter is that you see it extremely Glory. well. The problem is the velocity at spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop-up. And oh. now it's going to be Joe Torrey. And a pitch. The two on is high. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Ross Detweiler, the left-hander, up and throwing. The three-one. Sliced hard but foul. A little tardy on that fastball. Is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Righty to the plate. That one the other way. He's got it, and there's two away. Now battle, center fielder, Young Man. Justice. David Justice, next up for the Braves. Good contact guy, good defender. The pitch. And a count one and two. Two down, nobody on. And a pop up on the left side of the infield. And that will end the inning. Braves are set down 1-2-3. They're up 5-1. Tyler Matzik will take over on the mound. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Tyler Matzik. And now the first baseman, Tony Perez. He went deep back in the fourth. A pretty important swing of the bat in this ball game. Yeah, Boogie, he didn't waste any time. He jumped all over that pitch and saw it the entire way. You talk about squaring it up. He didn't miss a stitch on the baseball.
That to right. Payne racing over to make the catch. Next for Cincinnati, Johnny Bench for the fourth time tonight. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. That's the second out. Really tight bite on that slider and just couldn't get the barrel to it out front. You've got to try to pull those hands tight to the body to get it through. And I'm thinking he probably wanted that pitch to end up even more inside to keep it out of the danger zone. But it had enough late break and deception to get the job done. Two outs. Base is empty. In now for the Reds. Adam Dunn. The next pitch misses. Two and one. Just one out away, trying to close it out. And a big swing and a miss. You now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this is exactly what these guys need to do. Take the first couple of games of this series, really take some of the pressure off. But when you're in this position, you have an opportunity to go for the juggler, and you want to do just that. Important to come out in game three, win that one, and you'll be looking very closely at a four-game sweep. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. For the Reds, one run, four hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 50 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Braves and everyone at Truist Park, we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.